Hello everybody and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Banished. Alright, we are here at the end of the winter. It's currently no snow, it must have melted off. But here we are. Reserves of logs are low. We have a woodcutter. And apparently I can increase the limit. Can I make it unlimited? I don't know. We can uh, we can go nuts with firewood, I think. So, basically, we are here once again, city of Poultville. Nine people alive in the beginning of this year. Have an herbalist getting pretty old. We have a wooden house, a stockpile set to complete. So, hold on. Let's uh, first of all let's speed speed down the time a little bit. Get up our production queue. We have our farmer. We have a gatherer, fisherman, woodcutter, herbalist, builder. All right. So I think we have a pretty good, uh, a reasonable mix of things going on here. So, I think all we have to do is chill, and uh, now that spring has come, there should be new building in the, f in the f field. So you are the fisherman. So, people don't always do exactly what you uh, ask them to do, I guess. They do their own thing. So that is just fine. Observing logs is slow, but yep. I pretty much made it more or less unlimited. I mean, I think there's a way to make it literally unlimited, but I don't know. And there is a way to set priority that I have learned. And let's see if I can find it here. It has an up arrow, all right. Increase priority. So if I increase the priority of that, maybe that means our uh, place will be done sooner. I think that is a fair thing to say. So let's see. Um, don't know if anyone's working on it now. We have the fisherman doing the fish. So our town is becoming a lot more decentralized, which is not a bad choice, really. I mean, we have the gatherer's hut in here, forester's lodge, we have a house here and another house set to be built over there. So people don't have to work so far for their, uh, for their jobs. So what are you doing, our builder friend? You are not too happy. Well, that's not good. But I guess we have to live with uh, certain things. Alright, of course, your is under construction. Alright. The thing is, I want another builder, but I don't know how much we can. Uh... Where is our farmer? You are farmer? Alright. Are you are, yeah, you're working. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'm, I'm really scared to cut anyone because um, I'm fearing that, that would be uh, that would be bad because we need everyone doing what they're doing right now. If I did get a message that the herbalist wasn't maybe uh, too necessary, but I don't know. They only go see the herbalists when they are sick, so maybe that's important. All right, we are going to increase the time on this, and we are happily planting potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the reserve logs are low. Well, then we need somebody to um, cut down some trees. How about we just say, just like I said, harvest trees. Cut down trees. Cut down these trees. That should uh, that should help. 
Alright, I think if we cut the herbalist for now, and we just have someone cutting down the trees, so that's gonna be good, hopefully. So here we are in another year. Hey, a child named Fan Fanine was born. Nice. Ten people in our town. Let's see if we can find this child. Uh, yep, Fanine. Yay! Healthy and idling around. Well, every child born now is an adult we will later have working in our town, so we should be happy with that. Okay, what's going on here? We have a, uh, without tools. That's why we need the blacksmith. I put priority on you, didn't I? All right. Let's pause this for a minute. No citizens are available to work. No citizens are available to work. All right, we are gonna pause this wooden house. Where's our builder? I wanna know this. Yeah, we are running low on tools, and we need someone to build to create tools, but we need that place to be finished first. All right, you're our builder. What are you doing? You're idling. There's work for you to do. Build the blacksmith, please. All right, let's see. Um, all right, they're working on it. Ooh, Kariah's become an adult and is working as a laborer. All right, well, let's increase the builders and let's put our herbalist back. So, that is good. We have seven adults now. And we really gotta get this blacksmith thing complete because people are not having tools. The reserve of stone is low. Well, my friend Byron tells me not to build quarries because they are ugly. So, we are going to say collect stone. Where's a good source of stone? Is that stone? Is that stone? Alright, let's get stone through that general area. I think that will help us. And hopefully, um, I'll for that. So, seven adults now. Two builders, a farmer, a gatherer, a fisherman, a woodcutter, and an herbalist for now. Looks pretty good. Alright, we need more logs, stone, and iron. We have plenty of iron. So, our workers are working. And as soon as that's done, we're going to assign one of our builders to be a, uh, a blacksmith. I think that is uh, a good thing for us to do. Our health is up a little bit, which is good. We don't really have any logs stored, so that's not too good. I still, I think we need to assign it. All right, we're going to assign a forester. Take one of our builders and make him a forester, because I think we'll get this blacksmith done before we know it. So yeah, our seven adults are spread out pretty good. And that is a that is a good thing. All right, we are getting our potatoes. Oh look, there's some animals here. Would like to have a. Uh, I wonder if you can actually. There's one for hunting animals or something. Like if I click on. Okay, now I can't use you to do that. So, all right. Well, that's good to know, I guess. All right, well, I don't think this is going to be done this year. I mean, I needed that forester to be in place because we need some firewood. All right. So, a merchant has arrived at the training post. I doubt we can do much for him. Corn seeds. And we have... Nothing to trade here. Inventory. So, what if we, uh, we do that? Can we put, um, 
All right, well, nothing is at the trading post. I think we have to have a trader. So we're just going to say dismiss the trader because there's not much we can do. And a trading post is not something that we can uh, really worry about right now. I mean, we have it, but we can't really use it, so... All right, we're stuck at 46%. I don't like that. We're gonna have, we're gonna need tools. All right, what's that chinking I hear? All right, we got the herbalist. We have fishermen. All right, farmer, forester, builder, child. Builder, what are you doing? All right, well, you're cutting down trees and things. I hope it's for this. Doesn't appear to be. Oh man, getting anyone to build in this game is like pulling teeth. They just, they just don't do it. Like, there's nothing else to be built. Build, build for me. Like, where are you going? You're walking right by the place. All right. Well, if you don't desire to, if you don't desire to have tools, there's not much I can do. I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the horse drink. Forty-seven percent. Okay, they're working on it a little bit. So I think we just gotta hold on until more adults exist. Let's see. Let's confirm that we are on the uh, fastest. Speed. Yes, we are good. All right, winter has come. Quick, harvest, harvest your potatoes. All right. Well, I think that will do it for that. So, farmer, farmer, I want you to become a builder because we need this blacksmith done. All right, chop, chop, chop. Hey, a child named Mari was born. All right, 11 people now. Reserve of food is low. We just harvested a whole bunch of uh, potatoes, right? But then again, everyone has potatoes in their house. I think we're gonna be fine this winter. Our health is slowly improving. So let's see, can we have that built? Can we have that built this time? Okay, we're up to 48%. I think the problem is logs right now. That's what they're coming over here to get. So they're coming over there to get logs, and then they're bringing it to the blacksmith, I think. I think that's what's happening. Alright, so are you the forester? Yes, you are the forester. And... So far we have cut and plant going on, so that's good. We have no citizens working. Well, we can't really have anyone working. Uh-oh, what's that? What's that mean? Materials, oh, there's no wood to do that. I guess because we're, <coughs> the wood is kind of being rerouted to the Blacksmith, I think. I think it's what's happening. Oh, look, another child was born. Jenser. Welcome, Jenser, to this crazy net world. So we're just gonna let that go on. And I think we might need more fishermen, too. So we're just gonna hang out here and let the winter uh, roll on by. And I think we're doing okay. We're gonna wait until we're in the spring and we're clear of the snow. And then we are gonna set our farmer to farm again. All right, farmer. Farmer, go, go, go. All right. 52%, 53%. All right, we're getting there slowly. 
Yep, they're going out and chopping down trees right now. Yeah, that is what we are hoping for. And we are right now in year eight. It's quite wonderful. The fact that we have recovered this much is a um, is an inspiring sight, really. What isn't so inspiring is how long it's taken this blacksmith to be to be made. But the hope is it will be made someday. All right, so we have a farmer working. We set the farmer to work, right? Yes, okay. So presumably this field will eventually uh, eventually be producing things. So we have just iron, so we need more stone and we need more wood. So let's see. I say we should probably remove some shit over here. Would be not a bad idea to help us out. Give us material for this. Hmm. So not too much to go on with. Um, it's kind of well, my friend Byron, who has played a lot more into this game than I have so far, I think he's up to, what, year, like, 26 or something like that, and he has, like, 130 people in his town. Um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. I think we'll get there eventually. We are recovering, uh, slowly but surely. Every episode we have a few new people, and, uh, no one's died in quite a while. So this rate of growth, we will be back to original population at some point, and then suppressing it. So, it is kind of a drag just to sit here and watch this blacksmith not be built and not know why. I mean, I give it priority, and there's presumably builders building. So, if anyone out there in the audience knows why this blacksmith is not building, um, please tell me, because I don't know. Hey, we have another adult. Nice. I think this new adult is just going to be working as a general laborer for now. I think that is what we need. Alright, 56%. Okay. Almost all the, um, the, uh, resources for this place are, are done. So, uh, that is good. We have a lot of medicine stored, we have iron stored, and we have firewood stored. Alright, construction is underway. And this is where I think things will start to happen now that the resources are here, and um, it's all a matter of building the building, people will be, uh, Starting to work here. Alright, uh, work on it. In fact, what if we temporarily have our other builder come here? Ooh, a child named Rosenland was born. Alright, we are getting uh, more people um, coming into our town. It's quite wonderful. We just gotta make sure that food production keeps up with them. I mean, so far it looks good now, but at some at some point we'll probably have to assign a second um, uh, a second gatherer, or perhaps plant another potato field. I think those things will happen when we have our ninth and tenth adults. Would probably be good. All right, but yes. So after the initial troubles and turmoils, I think we are uh, getting somewhere in this game. Yes, build, build, build! Yes, and of course my friend Cat in the Shadows, who on his first try playing the game, had no one die for at least the first eight years. I mean, I don't know if he's played any more since then, but certainly no one died during that time. So... 
this place is starting to uh, starting to gum up, and I think we might have it done by the time winter comes around. And our potato field is growing. I think we having a second farmer on this field might actually be uh, might actually be good. So let's see. There are citizens without tools. There are citizens that are hungry. Okay, I think I think having tools is going to uh, actually help out. Let's see. Why don't you go help the farmer? Because we're not too far off on finishing this. We'll have some tools. Who's hungry? The farmer's hungry, and the woodcutter's hungry. All right. Oh no. We've had our first death in a while. We, the woodcutter died of starvation. Oh damn, this is something that we cannot have happen. We have to, uh, we have to make sure that, uh, we have enough food for everyone. Although I'm not really sure how that happened. It seems like things were doing okay. But yeah, we need that woodcutter replaced, so we're gonna have to cut one of the farmers and have a person. Oh look, we have a new adult. Oh, that's good. So, how about you just be a laborer until we have this done, then we can assign a, a blacksmith. One thing that I think would be interesting for this game is, like, a mechanic where if a person works at a job long enough, they get more and more efficient at it, and they could have, like, a little skill, like a little skill chart that shows how much things and maybe as the game is more progresses along, you could have children um, apprentice with a certain uh, professions, so that when they uh, get to working age, they already have a baseline of skill in that. I think that is uh, that would actually be a good uh, a good mechanic to have in this game. So that is just my uh, my little humble suggestion for the. Um, the banished team, I guess. Uh-oh. Um, what are you, what's your problem? Are you, who's starving? Who is starving? Are you starving? All right, you're, you're starving, but I don't know why. We are harvesting the field, so it should be ready soon. Funny because the the health bar doesn't actually indicate how much food the person has, so it's very uh, very much unknown. But I think one reason our farm wasn't as efficient as it could have been was there was uh, all right. You know what? We're getting late with the harvest, so I want you to join up, help harvest that um, harvest the rest of that field before winter comes and everyone. Uh, Okay, citizens that are freezing. Do we have a lack of firewood? No, harvest, harvest it. Oh god. Okay. Um Yeah, we had some uh all right. Farmer, we're going to cut one of you, make you a fisherman for now. Well, we have starvation hitting our city once again. Uh, right. Oh no, the herbalist has died of starvation. Well, that sucks. But on the plus side, our blacksmith is complete. Oh god, people are dropping off again. What the hell? Oh shit. Uh. Um, fisherman died too. Okay, we need a we need a blacksmith, but. All right, guess what, farmer? You're a blacksmith now. Blacksmith, 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 blacksmith. Blacksmith. You're a blacksmith now. And when once the winter ends, we'll get someone else to uh, be a farmer. But having the tools that we need is pretty important. I don't think that can be uh, overstated. Because I think it was a lack of good tools that was causing our potato harvest not to be uh, good. 
And now, wait. Are you all starving? Uh. Damn. Are these edible? No, they're medicine. Okay. We need to, um. We need to cut the forester for now. We need to gather. We need to cut the builder for now. We got a fish. So basically, this is, um. This is desperation time. We have to uh, do what we can to make sure everyone has enough to eat. Because ultimately, food is uh, important. So we're down to six adults. We were up to eight at one point. So, uh, yeah, everyone is kind of kind of in a rough state now. But we are going to uh, we are going to try to deal with this. So, yes, at least our health is increasing. All right, it's saying just one citizen is hungry right now. It's saying five people don't have tools, and that's we have six adults. So, um, our blacksmith—that's good. Oh, we have three people starving. We have more people starving, man. All right, let's bring back up the. Uh, Green. We have to reassign a farmer. So one of the gatherers that's enough. We are going to have a farmer now. And let's hope that we can uh, make tools. Oh no! Oh crap! What the hell? We just had a bunch of people die again. Oh shit. Um. All right. What do we have here? A woodcutter, a gatherer, a fisherman, and a farmer. Well, we need... We need all those guys. We need a blacksmith. So, I think we have enough firewood, so let's send you to be a blacksmith. Uh, desperate times are coming to, uh, to Poltville. All right. Well... You know, the, uh, the strong survive in, um, the strong will survive in Poltville, and the weak will go by the wayside. That is our motto here. And on that lovely note, we are, whoa, we are going to end this episode. So, we started with nine, got up to twelve, and we're down to seven. So, join us next time, in which we try to... We try to salvage this.